Man, I've been thinking about Sanji for a long time now. I've been thinking about Sanji. He's, this him as a character. Him developing as a character. This him from where he was when we met him at first. You know, the pre and then the post time skip. And to where he is now, man. Man, Sanji is a character, man. But this is not what he will talk about anyway. Sanji's moments. I want like Sanji top five moments after chapter thousand. Let's talk about it. You know, well, let's not talk about. It. I want to name my top five moments for Sanji. You know what I mean? But make sure you guys, you know what to do. Subscribe to the channel, share this video, and you know what to do, man. I'm sorry I've been posting in a minute. I've been really busy, but now I'm back. You know what I mean? So five, Sanji, man. When Sanji kicked a queen, when Sanji kicked a queen and saved Chopper, man, that was that's number five, you know. What I mean, that's number five, you know. So that 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 moment was good, you know, because you know Chopper was ha well, he was really like fighting Queen, you know. I never saw that coming, you know what I mean. So they were fighting and shit, you know. They were fighting, and Sanji comes out of nowhere to save Chopper, and this is literally when. They got the news of Luffy apparently dead, you know. So it's like, what the hell, you know? So Sanji comes out of nowhere and kicks Queen, and Queen is circling like a blade blade right now. Like this, this guy really looks like a blade blade. So when Sanji came out of nowhere, we all knew Sanji was gonna fight Queen. That was the obvious matchup. But when the way Sanji's entrance was just wild, like. That's that's my guy Sanji, you know what I mean? Sanji definitely his thing that moment, you know what I mean? Loved it. Sanji made sure Chopper was okay, don't worry. You know, Luffy can never lose to Kaido, you know what I mean? He's he's gonna become the king of the pirates, you know what I mean? And that's just a good moment to see. And he just keeps kicking it bro deep, bro. This is not even like level up Sanji. This is Sanji at base and he did that to Queen. That, that says something about Sanji, and that says something about Queen. But then you could say Queen was caught off guard, so... But for you to be spinning around like that is kind of, like, embarrassing, but... Anyway, let's get to number four, man. Number four is when Sanji smashed his raid suit, you know what I mean? I really did like that moment. That was a moment for Sanji. Because it's like he was letting go of Jama, but the reality is you still are Jama, you know what I mean? But you're just letting go once and for all. But it's kind of like sad because Sanji wants to let go of Jerma. So he smashes the raid suit. But you basically kind of turn into your brothers, but you, you still have a heart. You know what I mean? You know, the exoskeleton. You know, you've got this amazing body, a body now. You've got this amazing body. You've got this amazing stamina. You've got this amazing durability. But you want to escape what you really are, but you can't. So Sanji just accepts it, that he can't escape it. But he's in, in no way is he ever going to use the race suit ever again. Yeah, so Sanji used the race suit, man. That's gone and that. But that moment really meant something to Sanji and to me. Because Sanji's character story, his character development is really good, man. All right, let's go to number three, man. Number three, the final move, the finisher, you know. Now, this is number three because, you know... That's the end of the fight, you know what I mean? And I was kind of pissed off because Queen didn't do nothing. And that and that finisher was kind of mm, mid, you know what I mean? You know, it was kind of mid to me, but it was still good at the same time, you know? Well, I would say mid because, you know, mid is, like, terrible. I will say, like, oh, okay, like, above mid, you know what I mean? So, Sanjo was using a lot of moves, you know what I mean? He was literally, like, just cracking... Queen, like, he was just fucking him up, you know what I mean? Like, he was just messing Queen up, you know what I mean? And, you know, Sanji was just blitzing him. Queen couldn't even react, bro. And especially how he just awakened, uh, just a new uh, power, you know what I mean? Just exoskeleton, everything's enhanced, you know what I mean? Enhanced speed, enhanced strength. So, bro, Sanji, I think, I think Queen said he's moving faster than light. So that's something, you know what I mean? Like, you know, 
And then that, there was a nice pairing in as well when he kicked the shit out of uh, Qu- uh, Queen and Queen went flying. Like, that guy went flying, bro. You know, nowhere to be seen. And that's the sh- man. You know, when you re- really think about it, Queen never used Conqueror's Hockey and King never used Conqueror's Hockey. That's just something to think about, you know what I mean? Man, I guess not every character, no matter how high you are. That's, that's why Conqueror's Hockey is so rare. Not everyone can just use it. But anyway, that moment was really good for Sanji, man. Blitzed him, low diffed him, you know what I mean? I'll say mid diff, but in between those two, low diff and mid diff, you know? Now, let's go to number two. I love this moment, you know what I mean? So this moment, yeah, it literally starts from Queen going to his animal form and then he leaves his whole body and then literally, you know what Sid I'm talking about, literally leaves his whole body and wraps uh, Sanji around. He got him in a grab now, innit? Like, literally got him in a grab, innit? And Sanji can't get out, you know? And then, you know, Queen literally hits himself, yeah. Literally, he literally hits himself, you know what I mean? I think it's something like... If he calls out his name, I haven't read the chapter in a long while. It's like, I think he, if he calls out his name, it fires out beams and it hit him. If I'm wrong, please tell me down in the comments, you know what I mean? I might be wrong. You know, it fires out beams and shit, you know? And then it hit Queen and then Sanji got out of it. But when Sanji got out of it, his body was all broken up, you know? Like, his body got so messed up and shit, you know? I'm like, what the hell is going on with Sanji, you know? Even... Bro, Triple even thought he was a zombie. I was like, he does look like a zombie, doesn't he? You know? And then literally, literally his body gets back together, yeah. And literally, Queen goes in for the attack. Literally goes in for the attack. And literally, Sanji breaks his sword. This is why this moment is number two, bro. Sanji breaks his sword. Bro, what? Sanji literally broke his sword. Literally, literally a commander, bro. Literally, and Sanji just took it to the face. Man, the durability on Sanji now is crazy. Literally, that moment was amazing, bro. Literally, everyone was like, what the hell's happening to Sanji? I was even shocked. I was like, why is Sanji? what's happening to Sanji, you know what I mean? And this nigga, he started thinking about his brothers. He's like, no, it couldn't be. I couldn't turn into one of those. I'm like, man, Sanji turned into them? Now, they didn't seem strong, but Sanji is stronger than them, isn't it? So, if Sanji is stronger than them, and then now he has this enhanced power and durability and speed and endurance, imagine how strong Sanji's going to be, you know what I mean? Imagine what he's going to be tanking later in the future. Basically, Sanji is Luffy's shield, and then Zoro is Luffy's sword, you know what I mean? You know, the shield and the sword, man, that moment was amazing. Queen was surprised. Man, a big moment for Sanji. Now, number one, and why this moment is number one, is because of the build-up, the lead-up, and just the execution, bro. Like, the lead-up was literally like, Sanji was fighting King and Queen before he got taken down. Marco comes up and defends him. And, you know, Marco's hanging hanging in there for a bit, you know what I mean? And then literally, Marco's done fighting. And he's like this, now it's time for the stars to rise and fight. Man! And then, that, bro, and then when Sanji and Zoro came out, that, oh my, that moment looked amazing. They were just calling out their moves and literally executed it, bro. Oh my goodness. That was amazing, man. Did you see that? Look at the panel. Look at the panel, man. You see the panel? Oh, my God, man. That panel looked amazing. Oh, my God. This is why this, this moment for me with Sanji is number one, fam. That shit looked amazing. Sanji just kicked the shit out of Queen, fam. You feel me? Man. That moment was amazing. The panel looked amazing. And then these guys are literally, like, after this, they say after this, you know, if we defeat these guys, Luffy's goal's getting closer. And this is how you know. I don't know if he said that word for word. I haven't read the chapter in a minute. But they did say something like, if we defeat these guys, we're going to go to the next level. And the dream to become a pirate king is near. Man, that just shows you the story's almost ending. Get your seatbelts ready. 
fucking health, man. Wow, man. What a chapter, man. I mean, what a panel, man. What a... But what, what, what execution. What a... Man, it was just amazing, bro. Amazing. Man. That's my top... That was my top five moments from Sanji after one chapter 1000, man. I'm going to do more characters like that, man. Man. What a chapter. No, what a move. Man, Sanji, he did his bits, man. Now make sure you guys like, subscribe, hit that bell, man. Check out my other videos, man. Check out, subscribe, follow my Twitter. I need my, I need my Twitter followers up, man. So, uh, follow my Twitter, man. You know what I mean? I'm um, peace.